monks usually have time for themselves, for their own self-reflection in different occasions. They can stay in the temple in the rainy seasons to, and accept less invitation for people. They go teach less so that they have time for themselves. Usually, I will try to find also time for myself as well, like once a year, so that I have time for my own meditation and I can teach myself more. Because even though I have become a meditation teacher, but it doesn't mean I know everything. So basically, this is a very good chance so that I could stay a little bit away and also I don't have a chance to use computer. I still help a project and that project helps people, teaches people how to meditate from all over the world. And since I'm a computer programmer, I help them with programming. But this is time for myself, so that it usually is 50% for myself and 50% for others. But this is going to be for myself alone, so that the balance can stay and can be maintained better. So let's see how it's going to be. And I'm really looking forward to this week for myself. And I think it's going to be nice. One of the monks' daily activities is go for arms around to meet people and villagers and let them have an opportunity to make more with us. Everything in our monks' life always comes back to the why questions. Why do we become a monk? And why do we eat, for example? Eating is not for flavor, it's not for pleasure, it's not for enjoying the test. It's not for fun, but eventually we just need energy to sustain our body, to be able to have strength so that we can teach ourselves and we can teach others. And we can create peace for ourselves and bring peace to people in societies as well. This merit in Buddhism we refers to peace energy. Our mind is a source of endless peace energy. Usually you can give yourself encouragement. Usually you can be happy anywhere, anytime. But because our mind is blocked with negative impurities that are greed, anger, and illusions, when those things block the mind, the mind feels weak and we cannot feel happy. Look at the people that gave me the food. They are not the richest people in the world. They probably gave me one third of what they earn in a day, which is a lot for many people. But what do they have? What do they gain from sharing this with me? First, the greed in their mind will remove, will disappear. They can feel much happier instantly because whenever you give someone something, your mind of the giver becomes happier. You feel proud of yourself, you feel proud of your actions. If the mind is full of greed, no matter how much you earn, no matter how much you have, maybe you're one of the richest people in the world, you're not going to be happy because you feel that you don't have enough. But if you start sharing with people, the greed is removed. This is the policy that the Buddha gave to us so that we can create a Buddhist society that are free from problems and full of happiness. Because we monks are like psychologists. 
we help people solve the problems and they can also uh, come to us at any time. They don't have to be mentally sick to come to us. And we also have to check ourselves that we behave as a good monk because otherwise, if we are lazy, if we don't get up in the morning, people will not come to give us the food. And we also have to check ourselves that we, have, we behave very well because otherwise, if we can't bow to ourselves, people, they, they can't actually um, give respect to us and they, they don't give us the food. Working towards perfection. We're not perfect. Some people thought that, well, you just put the orange coat on us and we become like super human, which is not the case. We're still working towards that. It would be nice if you just put on this coat and then you become like a super human being. Well, it would be nice to, to, to be like that, but in, in, in reality, we still work on that. We just have more chance of checking on ourselves and trying to improve ourselves because eventually the word study in Buddhism is called Sikha, which means to see ourselves, to understand ourselves. So we have to check whether we, we have something to improve and eventually we are working to improve ourselves. Would you like to try? Is it easy? But you have just to used to it and having happiness from this simple lifestyle is something that's the best. I believe that this is very minimal lifestyle because uh, we always depend on these two, three pieces of cloth and we can't have more. Well, the orange is the color of flame that will burn away all the negative things in the mind. And it is the color of the sun that produces solar energy which represents pure purity or pure energy. This is the color also as of their gold which is the color of purity, because gold is pure element. And this is the color of calmness and beautiful mind, because they say those who do not have beautiful mind cannot wear this clothing. Or only those who develop themselves and also purify their mind the whole time can, can be in this clothing. Meditation is universal. Anyone can try it because um, it is something about the mind. So you actually have to be Buddhist or Hindu. It's not about any religious, nationality or belief. If you really love yourself, if you want to know more about yourself, then you have to meditate because meditation helps you understand your own mind and change the mind for the better. Don't believe in what people say that you have to be Buddhist or Hindu to meditate. This is something worth trying, something that only gives benefit, something that is, only, is very good for the mind. There is one party word in the past, it says, Ei Pasiko, let's try it on our own. And I think something that everyone in the world should try it. Now I've finished my lunch, I have to do something with the food in my stomach. If I meditate right away, I could fall asleep very easily. Normally I go for a walk, or maybe I go sweep the leaves, or maybe I go clean the toilet. This is how I prepare myself ready for a good afternoon session. When I feel down or have some troubles in my mind, this is a way to help me feel better. Somehow everything needs cleaning. Our life is the same. So we don't need to depend on intoxication, alcohol, or any drugs to make us feel better. We can just go and clean something. And this is how I also clean my egos as well, because whenever I have ego in the mind, I'm a meditation instructor. I have to make sure that I don't have ego in the mind. Otherwise, that blocks me from learning something more. So when I go cleaning, I accept that everything needs cleaning, and I am the same. I have to also clean myself, 
clean everything around me, that helps me to remove ego from the mind. Let us prepare ourselves for the recitation of the precepts, what we call Patimokha. And we will recollect upon what we have to do, what we should do and what we should not do as a monk. That helps us to stay and understand the reasons, the why, why we become a monk and what we have to do to maintain that monkhood. This is also a way to help us to learn about letting go. Because normally, this part of our head, our hair, we don't normally want anyone to mess it up very easily, right? But after becoming a monk, and we have only one hairstyle, which is to shape it off, so that we don't have to worry what kind of hairstyle we have to wear. We just let it go. Monk's precepts contain 227 rules. This sounds too many, but if we keep meditating every day and our minds purify, they're not too difficult to follow at all because our mind controls our speech and our actions. So these days, I didn't have a chance to meditate this much. Not like the first years as a monk, and I had less responsibilities and more time for myself. So this is considered an annual vacation for me. And these days with more responsibilities because we have four responsibilities we have to take care of. Our physical well-being, economics, social, and the mind. For me, I also have to take care of those four responsibilities as well. Because if we make them balance, we can feel that the mind is less worried. Initially, I got invited to help develop a service system that teach meditation online. So I helped and it went very well. So now this is a part of my life and the work is very tough, but I'm very happy to see many people attain peace from meditation like me. This is very good inspiration. And now I can see myself on social media, on Facebook. I think this is great because there are many people waiting to learn these wisdoms from all over the world. And wherever I go, people usually ask me, where can I learn more? How do I learn more? So I believe that this is one way to share the knowledge and help people around the world to reach the inner peace and to learn the wisdom from the Buddhist practice. Actually, Buddhism is a way of life. Anyone can practice. They just have to give themselves a chance and be open to new knowledge. Even the Buddha said that. Do not believe because he said so, but try to apply his knowledge and use his knowledge to improve the habits and improve the way of life. Everyone can do that. All they have to do is to try. So this is monk's life and all the monks and novices, we have to keep on learning. We cannot stop learning because we still have a lot to learn. And I believe that this is also for every one of us. Why is our life different than like animals? They eat, they mate, they die, they have kids. We must have something higher than that, something more than that, waiting for us to learn. And yeah, there's something much more for me to learn as well. And I hope that we can learn together. The truth of life is more profound than we thought. What we don't know doesn't mean they don't exist. If we know that we don't know, we should do something about it. We must not forget to teach the most important person, which is ourselves. Because we should know ourselves the most, more than anyone else in the world. I usually recollect what I have done during the day, whether there was something good, something bad, so we have to improve. And I share my love, my peace energy to all living beings. I believe that our life has values and they are searching for happiness in different ways. 
because we have different definitions of what happiness is about. For me, happiness is about how we can search inside ourselves and find the happiness from the mind that is still. The mind that doesn't struggle to find anything else from outside.